Hey there, and welcome back to the video series. So we created the create functionality that uh, allows us to create new products. And we can see we have a couple of products in the database right now. So we have a view called create, blade.php, where we have all the HTML, all the presentation. And then we have our layout that this child view extends from. And now it's time to, I think, create the index that will display a listing of the resource. So this is where we can see a list of the products. And it's not a lot of code that we need to do. It's basically getting the data from the database. And the way we do this is that first we create a variable to hold of our, all our products. And then we use our product model. And we ask the model to get the latest. And then we ask Laravel to paginate five, and this could be any number. So that is a built-in function in Laravel that we can have pagination. So it will get us the latest five products and store it in the products variable. And then we return a view like we did with the create. And the view should be called products index. And we send along our variable called products. So that refers to our variable over here. We don't need to have the dollar sign there. So uh, we just send in the variable that we can use in the view to have a loop uh, that iterates through all the products and displays uh, a table or something like this. And in order for us to know how far we are in the pagination, what page we are on, we also need to uh, to tell the view uh, what page we are on. We can use the width method that comes with Laravel. And we can uh, have a look at the request that we also can access through this uh, controller. And then we can use the input that takes uh, the page. So this is going to be an attribute uh, in the URL. We're going to see this in a minute. And uh, this can be page one, page two, page three, each with five products in it. Okay, so this will tell the view what page we are on and what products it should display. All right, so uh, let's go and find the views because we need to create this index view here. So we're going to create a new file called index blade.php and like we did with the create we extend from the uh, main layout we're going to do the same in here so i'm going to write extends and then we take product and then we can just find the uh, that should not be that that should be the layout of course and we will make a section in uh, our content and end the section. Right, so th the same basic structure that we had in the create where we inherit from the main layout and then we use the uh, this placeholder, the content, and populate it with data related to the create here. And now we just need to put some HTML in here that is related to the uh, to the listing of the products. And I'm going to copy the code in here again and explain what is going on. Let's just have a look at how this looks at the front end. If we can see if the front end here, if we get errors, let's have a look here. This is the front end. And uh, we can see that it, it actually uh, shows the data from the database. Uh, using Bootstrap. So what is going on here? Uh, well, we create a row, a Bootstrap row, and we have uh, a title for this, Laravel 8 CRUD example. That is the one up here. So maybe we could remove our title in the layout. Then we have, um, we also have a link here, just a normal hyperlink uh, that will allow us to create new products. And this will go to the create view that we created just before. So if we click on the on the link, it, we are taken to the view we just created before. And we can also see that we use blade syntax because we ask Laravel to get us the route for products create. 
So if we take a look at the page source, just to see what this uh, is actually looking like, we can see we have the uh, the route right here, products slash create. So this is what we get from our uh, from our blade syntax here. So this is dynamic stuff. Again, we're using if else to display error messages if there is an error with the session maybe or if we don't have any success if we uh, had an error when we created uh, a new product we can see this in a minute then we're creating a table with the properties of the product id name and details and then we use the for each again blade syntax where we go through all the products and one interesting thing to note here is that we sent the products variable, the five products we had. And if we take a look in there, we can see that we actually have access to the variable here. So we have access to the PHP variable that we got from the controller. So this is the products that we fetched from the database using pagination. Then we iterate through them using a for each loop. And we again use blade syntax to get each product's ID, name, and detail. So normal for each loop but just in blade syntax and then for each product we can see that we have a show button and edit and delete that will allow us to get information from each product and also edit it if we want to update it and also delete it and the way it works is that again we also have a form that will allow us to either do uh, products destroy that goes to the product controller. Let's see if we can find it right here. Destroy. We haven't written the code for that yet, but it will delete the um, product in the database based on the ID. And the other one is that it will show this particular product using this route, and that is product show. We haven't uh, coded that yet. And last it will allow us to edit it, product edit, based on the ID. So that is basically it for the pagination here, okay? And if we take a look, we can see right now we only have two products, so we don't have any pagination. But if we, let's just create a couple of products. Product three, I'm just going to copy this stuff there. So we submit that one there. So now we have three. And we can see we also have this uh, message there, product created successfully, that we send along with the success here. So that is what what's going on here, that we can display friendly error messages or friendly messages to the user about what happened. So let's just create a couple of more products to see here. Details there. And another one. So, okay. So now we can see we got a pagination and for some reason I got two of the same, I think, but we can see that we haven't coded anything in this uh, pagination. And we can also see that now we get uh, we get this automatic control down here, so we can uh, create a more user-friendly indication for the user. Uh, let's just have this number seven. That's not so important in here. Detail. Yep. So we can see that we can have as many as we want, and the page attribute up here uh, is controlling the pagination uh, how this happens okay so that is what we created in the top with the the input page there so that is uh, the listing of our products so now we can create a new product and we can also have a listing of those pretty nice so in the next video we will continue on it and create uh, the code for a specific product, how we can do this, and maybe some of the other routes, depending on how much time it takes. So I hope you make this work and have fun with this. Bye-bye.